everybody. Um, I wanted to share a devotion today from our daily bread. You can get these devotions for free. Um, just go to our dailybread.org or I think they have like an email or something. I guess just go to our dailybread.com or whatever. But I wanted to share this because, especially in these days, we all need to try to practice patience more. It's not an easy thing. Um, but today is Wednesday, October 9th. The scripture is James 1.4. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Lessons in Patience Bob Salem holds the speed record for pushing a peanut up Pike's Peak with his nose, or rather with a spoon attached to his face. He accomplished the feat in seven days, working at night to avoid interruption from tourists. Bob is the fourth person to complete this stunt, which means three other very patient people have done it. We might say their need for patience was self-inflicted, but so often in life that isn't the case. We need patience. It's a fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5.22, and an essential virtue for becoming mature and complete, not lacking anything, James 1.4. Patient people keep their heads when everyone around is in full panic. They like the situation to be different, but they don't need it to be. They stay the course, trusting God for wisdom to act wisely, by Verse 5. The problem with patience is there's only one way to learn it. James says, the testing of your faith produces patience. Verse 3. Such testing comes in ways big and small. I'm writing this from an airport. Why is my nose always got an itch? Where was I? Sorry. My 11 p.m. flight was delayed until 2 a.m., then canceled. After a night without sleep, I'm chugging coffee and hoping to make it home sometime. I don't like wasting an entire drowsy day in an airport, but my loving father is teaching me patience. I pray my lesson is finished for the day, but who knows? Time to check the standby list for the next flight by Mike Whitmer. How can you develop patience? Why is this virtue so important? Father, please help me learn patience as I hold on to you and your promises. Um, if you're a prayer, let me know. I want to pray for you. Uh, keep us in prayer. Pray that I get this disability because a roommate situation is obviously not going to work out for us. And, um, ways for me to be able to make money, but it's really hard with my health because there's not much I can do. I'm struggling to even try to keep this house in order. Um, and pray for our finances. Um, I feel like i am got allergies or sinuses. been kind of bothering me the last couple of days. So pray for that. Um, pray for a living situation for someone. And also living financial and other situation for someone else. God knows. Um, For my husband's work to pick up because we're just struggling and his work has not been going well. We're trying to get rent in and we got bills, bills, bills. And it's just, it's so hard right now. It's so hard for a lot of people. So I'm sure you understand. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's it. I hope that this devotion today spoke to you. Um, Let's pray for patience, especially in these days we need patience and to trust God. I love you guys and God bless.